Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to be changing the speedo sensor on our Moto Guzzi 750 Breva. Now the speedo on this bike has been reading low over the last month and a bit, um, which has led to the, uh, my wife running out of petrol a couple of weeks ago uh, because the trip meter is also out if the bike actually is reading low. It's been reading between 80 and 90 kilometers per hour when it should be reading 100 kilometers per hour on the freeway. So my first thing thought was to check the connections and I've done that and that had no effect on the fault. It's unlikely to be the actual dash itself so I think it's mo most likely to be the actual sensor. Now this bike uses a Hall effect device uh, and it actually uses the six bolts that hold the rear disc on to vary a magnetic field to uh, create a series of pulses. Now there's six bolts so there's six pulses per revolution. So if it skips a pulse every revolution or so, the speedo will start reading low. And that's what I think the problem is. So today's exercise is to remove the existing sensor and replace it with a new one that I managed to pick up at quite a good price off eBay recently. So let's get started. Now we need to remove the axle, though not the rear wheel completely, just so we can get the caliper mount out. So the first thing we need to do is remove the muffler. Now we'll loosen the axle. Then the pinch bolt. Now I'm going to remove the caliper locating pin. This can be actually quite, quite tight. And the next thing you should do before driving out the axle is uh, tie up the uh, rear wheel to the bevel drive. Because if the rear wheel comes off the bevel drive, those cush drive rubbers will fall out and you'll be in a world of pain trying to fit them back in again. They were originally glued in, but um, after many years of service, of course, they come loose. And they're a bit of a trial to get in and out. So since we're not actually taking the rear wheel off, it's a lot easier to actually put a strap around the wheel and the bevel drive and just keep the wheel in place and keep those rubbers in place. Now we disconnect the connector under the seat and feed the wire through. It might be easier to take the right hand side cover off while you're doing this. So here's the sensor here, we just need to undo this one bolt. And then push it out. Okay, now we feed the new sensor in. It's actually a bit hard to get in. Fit our bolt. Oh. 
Okay, now we can uh, refit this uh, to the rear axle and then I'll put the wiring in place. Put our spacer in. Now we'll fit the brake stay bolt. Now just tighten the rear axle. And don't forget to remove your strap. Now we'll just feed the wire up. Follow the same path as before. And now we cable tie the uh, cable to the brake hose. Well, that's the speedo sensor replaced. All it remains now to do is to just go over the work, just to double check all the nuts and bolts, just to make sure that everything is tight, that the wheel is spinning freely, and that the cables aren't gonna snag on anything during operation. So the next task is to take the bike for a test ride, just to confirm that the speedo is operating correctly. I'll catch you next time.